kill his notepad pad. Now kill your dad kid. Now kill his notepad pad. Come on. Lobster cop arrived early and I will be waiting for you at the town. Just follow the path to meet him and have fun. Hope you have fun too. I will. All right, see you. Acting, 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 acting. They added... All right, this is interesting. Can I go off like a jump? Frog Detective 3. Cowboy County. Prime or whatever. In the first 10 minutes, he breaks his fucking ankle. Can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cup? I sure can. We've been sent here to solve the conundrum of the sheriff was county. Oh. This town was thriving, Detective. Marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was something missing. The sheriff. Yeah. I was kind of leading up to that. My bad. For the sake of storytelling, uh, can you please not interrupt me? I sincerely apologize. When he says Bugleberry? <laughs> what? That's not Bugleberry. That's not... That, yeah, that's that's Jimmy Stewart. That's not Bugleberry. Supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, there are two of us here to facilitate hiring for a management position. Detective, uh, you've read my mind. The supervisor really dropped the ball. Did you really think I'd need your help? No. Me neither. And as it turns out, I don't need your help. It's kind of turning into Mr. Ed. <laughs> it's a Mr. Ed. The position has been filled. Oh. I knew the perfect boy for the job. Presenting... The new sheriff of Cowboy County. Sheriff... Mason Mole. Wow. Congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll head back to the office. No, no, no! Oof. No, you... No, you can... Hmm. No, 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 no. No, you... Uh, fuck. No! 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 No, you... No! <laughs> voice selector! <laughs> voice 1, voice 2, voice 3, voice 1, voice... No, no, it's voice 1, voice 2, voice 3, voice 1A, 1B, 1C, voice 1D, 1... You know what I mean? It's... Alright. No, you cannot! Fuck! No! No! You cannot! Is there something you need help with? What is it, Sheriff Mason Mole? Mystery. Crime mystery. Please solve this. What's a mystery? It's the same fucking person. Hold on. Oh, hats have been stolen. You're wearing a hat. Not my hat. Town hats. Can you elaborate? All the hats in the town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Do you have any leads? No. Get to work, please. Well, you heard the sheriff. Okay. Um, is there really no additional information? No. But here's your notebook. I'm sorry? Here, notebook. Somebody mailed it to you. I didn't even know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. Can I ask a question? No, I'm busy. Goodbye. <laughs> well, well, what a legend. Now, Detective, as I am the lead investigator on this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead. It's a safe assumption to make. Right, of course. So I'll be investigating leads, but I could use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? Hmm... I'll handle the motive and the suspects. You handle the crime scene and method. Okay. It's an easier task for a rookie like you. All you need to do is find 
a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, a key that could lead us to the clue, and lastly, not to mention most importantly, a meal for the number one best detective. A meal. Yes, detective, keep up. I'm a very hungry boy and will need sustenance to solve the mystery. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. Can you do me a favor? Um, it depends on a favor. What? I can't just agree to doing you a favor. I don't know even who you are. I'm Sue. What is it? Su Susie Rabbit? What is it? Is it Sussy Rabbit or Susie Rabbit? What is it? Rip Chat. Yeah. I'm Susie Rabbit. Can you do me a favor? Hey. You're the best, thanks. I need you to help me break into this bank. What? I will not. Huh? Dude, you already agreed to it. I don't appreciate you lying to me. If you said you'd do me a favor, you should keep your word. I didn't agree to the favor. Oh, so now you're changing the story. Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone. What the heck? Hello? What? It's me, Frog Detective. Yeah, I know. They should call you the Flake. Why? Because you always flake on your promises. I'm going to have to break it on my own now. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. Why are you breaking in anyways? A bit nosy for someone who doesn't want to help. He ignores he's my job. Fine. I don't have any ID, so I can't get into my vault. Oh. So you only want to steal things that belong to you? Yeah. Surely there's another way of getting in there. Getting them. Oh, so now you want to help. Typical. I just mean, uh, breaking in sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. I heard all these banks are booby-trapped. Why? So people don't break in. What What's wrong with breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. If people can break in, it kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. I'm starting to get it. Ugh, that's so annoying. I have a piece of evidence that's vital to the missing hats case. Wait, what? I could really use that. Oh, so you will help me. Hmm... I really shouldn't. It's a map, and I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. I found it this morning, right after the hats were stolen. If I, if it had, yeah, it had big letters on the top that said crime map, eat after reading. I didn't eat it, obviously. All right, uh, let's go, the map. About that vital piece of evidence, the map. What about it? What can you tell me about it? Do you remember what it had on it? It was a map of the graveyard, I think. Oh, that's helpful. Yeah, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive. You'd be looking forever without some guide to tell you where to go. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I wouldn't want to spend too long looking around. It's haunted? That's what the rumors say. Do you remember anything else about that map? No, not really. Listen, if you can help me get into my vault, it's all yours. That sounds like a good deal. I'll do my best. I'm pretty sure my ID is in the bank vault. Oh, that's a conundrum. Yeah. But there's a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Is that against the rules? What rules? The bank rules? It's my vault. What are they going to do? Ban me from my own possessions? I suppose not. Great, so it's settled. You'll get me a fake ID. What? No! Suit yourself. <sighs> Theoretically, if I were to help. Yes, thank you. I'll wait right here. Thank you, detective. Okay. Small enemy spider. She's destroying you. <laughs> I'm being, I'm being outclassed in our conversation. <gasps> Guys. Guys, look. <gasps> it's 
Swamp. Enemy. Spider. Holy shit, guys, it's the Swamp. Enemy. Spider. What the f what the heck? I know everybody, everybody's waiting for what character is going to be Bernie Sanders and what character is going to be Donald Trump. I, everyone's waiting. Everyone's like, which one is going to be Bernie Sanders, right? I know everyone's waiting for it, but, but what if I, what if I pivot? What if it's not Bernie Sanders, right? What if it's not? What if I don't do Bernie Sanders? One of them is going to be Mr. Satan. Yeah, it, you, you, you guys, you know the, you know the drill. Okay, am I ready? <clears throat> if you're here from the evil secret society, please leave me alone. I'm not interested in joining. What's your evil secret society? Let's try. I know the society's tricks. Well, I'm actually here from Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Oh, yeah? Where are your credentials then? Uh, well, I'm a detective. I am a frog. And I'm here to solve a mystery slash possible crime. Do you have any identification? Just my face. Mm. Do you have identification? No, but I'm Craig. Everybody knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but my appearance does seem to match what you're saying. But just know I don't trust you. I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. Detective, I'm someone that's regularly messed with. There are many different societies around here, and they all want me to join. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being a part of these secret societies. What types of secret societies are there? For starters, you've got the, the naughty little guys. They've been after me for years. Uh, the posties are another one. They, they go around delivering mail. I'm not sure that's a secret society. I think it's more of a public service. Uh, then why can't we open everybody's mail? Not so public if you ask me. Open your eyes. Another society is the Ghost Spotters League. Oh, wait, I think I've heard of them. Yes, despite being a secret society, they're quite well known. To be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being a part of any societies, but that's only half true. Oh. The Ghost Spotters League is really exclusive, and I'm kind of bummed that they never tried to recruit me. Are you a keen ghost spotter? Well, that might be the problem. To be inducted into the league, you need to have a... Sp I have to, you have to have a spot a ghost. And you haven't seen any? Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You could be anyone. I'm the detective. It's a compelling disguise, I'll give you that. Do you know much about ghosts? Well, I solved a mystery involving one. The mystery of the haunted island. Although, it wasn't haunted in the end. So no. You could have saved us both time and just said no. I don't suppose there's a secret society that is dedicated to stealing hats. Uh, not that I'm aware of. But that's the thing, Detective. Those societies run deep. I barely scratched the surface of what there is to know. They run everything. Everywhere you've ever been. Anything you've ever done. It's all dictated by the secret societies. Surely that can't be true. You'd think not, but it is true. How do you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Is it a secret forum? What? <laughs> like, is the forum also a secret society? I never thought of that. I had to look into it. No, no, I'm just joking. I don't see how you can joke about something like this. Secret societies run everything. How close are you to spotting a ghost? What kind of question is that? How am I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs, detective. You can't just spot them out and out. About. How does it work, then? Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, the society needs a credible ghost sighting story. Or tangible proof of a ghost, like a photo. Do ghosts show up in photos? It depends, but yeah. Uh, the, the saloon has a bunch of photos, but I don't want to send in the wrong one and embarrass myself. I don't know which ones are of, are of ghosts and which ones are just normal photos. Hmm. Sounds like a bit of a puzzle. They're so strict, if I get my application denied three times, I'm banned from ever applying again. I'm on my second strike. What'd you send in the first two times? I faked the first two sightings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast, so I looked like a blur in the photograph. 
they're so clever that they figured me out right away. That's how I know they're the real deal. Say, if you happen to spot a uh, stop by the saloon, could you take a look and see if you can tell which one of those photos has a ghost in it? I don't really care about actually spotting a ghost myself. I just want to be a part of the society. Are there two people doing these voices? Batches. <laughs> Dude, uh, yeah, there is. No, uh, no, there's only one, dude. Can you? There's only one person doing the voice. What the fuck? I have to prove that one of these has a ghost in it. You're killing it right now. Well, if it isn't the frog of the hour, maybe the frog of one and a half hours, if we're being generous. Forty-five minutes, if you're speedy. Well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you, Detective. Have we met? Not in person, no. I've sent you several emails asking to illustrate your frog blog. Oh, you must be Pistol. That's me. Finest artist in all of Cowboy County, and potentially the world. Yes, you mentioned that many times in your emails. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually. I would love to illustrate them. I'd love that too. Unfortunately, I do not have a million money to pay you with. It's actually two million money. Yes, yes, sorry. No matter, detective. Simply keep saving up and you'll be able to afford my work one day. I'll do that. Are you working on something at the moment? Yes. My finest piece yet. It's, um... Uh... Well, you see, it's clearly a... Uh, who am I kidding, detective? I've lost my artistic touch. Oh, I'm sure it's just a bit of a creative block. Creative block? No. I clicked on a banner on cyberspace, and it took me to a strange website. What did the banner say? Click here for an epic video of a worm who's buff. You were right to click it. When it loaded, it was just a scary picture of a witch. It made a loud cackling noise, and the screen just said, You just got a curse on you from this website. Ever since then, I have lost my artistic talents. That's terrible. When did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but are you sure it wasn't just a prank? A prank? I don't think so. That witch was really scary, and I'm normally very brave. Did the website have any specifics about the curse? No. Well, how do you know the curse is on your artistic talents? It's been three hours and I haven't found my latest muse. A muse? You know, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find one and today I haven't seen anything that inspires me. And, and some internet safety lessons, a muse. Two million money is a small price to pay for art. Allegedly cursed. Always give your banking information to anyone who asks for it. Afternoon, detective. What can I get for you? Nothing for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Ah, oh, you're about the hats. I must look like a heck of a suspect. Why is that? I'm the only resident of Cowboy County without a hat. I mean, until now. That's pretty suspicious of me. I could have stolen them all out of jealousy. And cooked them up in a stew. Aha! <laughs> Everyone, come get your hat stew! <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, detective. I'm a jokester. They call me Bantering Bonnie around here. That's a nice nickname. <laughs> I'm literally joking. <laughs> they just call me Bonnie. I made that up. Oh, eh. Uh... <laughs> now you're getting it. I'm full of jokes. Yeah, I get it now. Um, anyway, you mentioned that you don't wear a hat. Why not? My head is a weird shape. Ah. <laughs> I'm literally joking. My head is completely normal. I just don't like the way hats look with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? It's not a suspicious thing. LOL. Okay, LOL. Hey, detective! Uh -huh. Yeah? I know a lot about Cowboy County. I know it all. Why are we yelling? 
It's a joke! LOL. Is it okay if I talk normally? Yes, but it was just a joke! Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, my job here isn't just to run the saloon. I'm also a keen historian for Cowboy County. Despite my hilarious nature, I take the world very seriously. For example, did you know that the graveyard up on the hill is gravely haunted? Ah, gravely. Sorry? It's gravely haunted. Gravely. Graveyard. Yeah, that's what I said. I have tons of stories and photographs from the haunted hill. You can check them out if you want. I sure will. Thanks. LOL. I just got the gravely thing. <laughs> okay, so what I... What do I do with, um... I gotta look at the photos? Hearing your actual voice is so jarring. <laughs> audio... Audio book Andy. This one is standing in front of a graveyard. That's totally haunted behavior. Well, maybe she's mourning. Did you ever think of that? Then why is she smiling? Yeah, good point. Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy. One of the first shop owners here in Cowboy County. She sold all these gravestones to residents of the town. I suspect that's why she has such a big smile on her face. Smile of a clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay, thanks. Is this a ghost? Who, Mark? <laughs> no, I wish Mark was a ghost. What? That didn't come out right. LOL. Oh, that's my ex-husband. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Why did you get divorced? Seems like a pretty personal question. My bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not really my ex-husband. I actually don't know who that is, but I call him Mark. I think that photo is over 50 years old. Take my word for it, though. That's not a haunted photo. It has a nice energy. This one's super spooky. Surely it has to be a ghost photo. Oh, that's old Snappy Fresh. He was one of the original gold miners here in town about a hundred years ago. Wow. It's so old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. Oh. Old Snappy Fresh is still alive. How could he be a ghost? He's still alive? How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. He's 130 years old. How do you know? I asked. Uh, coincidentally, that's how I learned it was rude to ask someone's age. Oh, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck, detective. This is the most haunted photo of all. Ah, why? Legend has it this rabbit was a real mean guy. He would put banana peels out for people to trip on. If people wedgies, you name it. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. Wait. Sorry, I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, yeah, this this guy was the sheriff about 80 years ago. A great sheriff loved by all. They're not haunted. Nope, sorry. All good. Is this a ghost? <laughs> I, I doubt it. That's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. They came in and changed all the colors in Cowboy County. It's really weird and messy. Fun, though. And they're still alive. I sure hope so. Thanks. Huh. Wait a minute. Something going on here. we found the ghost. Wait, was this one here before? Hmm. I don't remember. It has such a strange energy to it. Yeah, I suddenly feel really chilly when I look at it. He's handsome, yet cold. Like he's seen too much. A man who has lived a thousand lives. There's a kindness to him, but also a great mystery. Bonnie? Yes, detective. 
I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might well be right. May I take it? Please do. I'll be glad to be rid of it. All right, we got the photo. Sick. Got the photo. Sick. So I took a look at all the photos in the saloon, and I think this one is definitely a ghost. Oh, really? Uh, how, how do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the photos seem pretty normal, but this one, this one is something else. I can just tell. The energy from this photo is very spooky and suspicious. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. Is it okay if I take a photocopy of this? That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the Ghost Spotters League to finally let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for all your help? What do you have? A pickaxe. Why? Sorry. Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? Can I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not. But usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason for having it in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay, uh, well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing, sorry. That's okay, I guess. Cool. Cool, very cool. What's that swap? Gotta be scorpion. Okay, let uh, I, This is what, what happens. Okay. So, this... Okay. Uh, uh, hey! Oh. Wow! Look at you. Huh? Your jumper, uh, your vacant smile, those piercing eyes. Are you a model, by any chance? I certainly am not. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe. Maybe it's time to solve a mystery. <laughs> that does not sound like that person I'm trying to do. But yeah, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hats. The missing hearts? Uh, you've stolen them. Sorry, I'm uh, just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humor. The hats, right? Uh, of course, the hats. Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Oh, uh, who done it? That's what I'm here to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in a mirror. <laughs> I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Oh. Hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused on how this new sheriff came into the picture. My fellow outlaw, Rhonda Dynamite, was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Clearly, she did not get the courage in time because this new guy, Mason Mole, wanted in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong. He, he's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, so I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or anything, but I just hope he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. <laughs> You're turning into Christopher Walken? <laughs> Am I? Please do, Walken. No. I have talked about this before. You cannot do a Walken unless you can absolutely do a Christopher Walken. You, there is no attempting to do a Walken. You either do it and nail it or not at all. The people that can do Walken, they do it phenomenally. Everybody else kind of, wow, it just goes like that. And no, 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 no. You you don't attempt to walk in unless you do walk in. Why are you so suspicious of Mason Moe? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. Not yet. Yeah. Ding. Anyway, I just really don't understand his motives. Why is he here? Hmm, I I'm not so sure. Obviously, I want to trust Lobster Cop's judgment, but this new guy is quiet and shady. Do you even know what job he did before this? I have no idea. Do you know? No. Figures. Might have asked you some questions. All right. Well, let's complete it right here. You mentioned you wanted a pickaxe, right? Sure did. I have one here if you'd be willing to trade it for the shovel. Oh, I'd love that. Thanks. 
I could also trade for a nice dinner. Just you and I. Uh, I'll take the shovel for now. The offer's open. We need Donald Trump now. The frog detective voice actor was on hold for the last 30 minutes. I come from far and wide to face off with the powerful Ronda Dynamite. No? Oh, this is sound bad? <laughs> Ready your weapon, frog. It is time for us to do battle. I don't have a weapon, and I'm not super interested in doing battle. Then why are you here to face me? This is my land, frog. You cannot just waltz in here and expect to take it. Your land? You own the scooter barn? No. But I loiter here every day. Everybody knows this. Where have you been? Do you live under a rock, frog? I thought a lily pad might be more suitable. How much? Have you ever lost on a coin toss? That's not Bernie! <laughs> it's not- how is that- it's Kylo Ren? No, it's not. It's neither one of those two things. What kind of work do you do? Well, detective, I'd love to tell you, but I need to know I can trust you. Oh, I understand. If you're worried about me town on you, I won't tell. My only concern today is the mystery of the missing hat. If you've stolen the hat, I will totally tell on you, though. That's reasonable. Well, okay then. I'm a mouse of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. Wow, it sounds intense. It's mostly a lot of printing stuff out. I can forge all types of things. Important documents, birth certificates, IDs, you name it. <gasps> Ooh, you could forge a certificate that says number one best detective? Why? No reason. I'm just joking. Pretend I didn't say that. Okay. I just... It... Somebody said, don't do Trump. You just fucked me up. I literally read, do not do Trump in all capitals when I said the first two lines. Good afternoon. Welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm Frog Detective. Unfortunately, at this time, we don't stock any gear for detective work. I mean, it's some of the best. Some of the best gear. We don't have it. I don't need anything. Oh. Um... Please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you'll find what you need. Believe me. No, thank you. We have a uh, we have a wide range of general goods for purchase. We process special orders at no extra cost to the consumer. And I mean, the consumer is obviously the most important thing in, uh, that we have here. We're proud to offer our customers a satisfaction guarantee on all purchases. What's a satisfaction guarantee? We can guarantee that you will be either satisfied or dissatisfied with your purchase. What happens if I'm dissatisfied? That falls within our satisfaction guarantee. So I can get a refund? This impression sucks. <laughs> you can't say that. All right, let me tell you something. You can't say that 10 minutes into an impression. You gotta stop me immediately. You gotta stop me immediately. Hey, hey man, I got an impression for you. Oh, here we go. Let me tell you something. My name is Donald Trump, and let me talk to you. And you just sit there and nod for 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. And by the way, oh, the special interest. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, and then eventually, after eight straight minutes, you go, hey, I just wanna cut you off for a second. This is bad. <laughs> the satisfaction guarantee only guarantees a range of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied. If your feeling towards the product doesn't fall within that range, you're entitled to a refund. That clears it up, thanks. Anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Unfortunately, we don't have cases in stock at this time, and now it's like kind of turning into what it is, what is this? I don't know why there's extra S's and H's at the end of this now. Why? What is it turning into? I'm here in official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats in Cowboy County. Right. It would have been a lot easier for me if you'd said that in the first place. I feel like 
What could Hillary just spend so much time explaining the policies and values of my store? A bit embarrassing for me, really. Really, believe me, really. Like, maybe in future, just tell people what you're here for. You know, just tell, tell people what you're here for. I mean, that's uh, what do you want me to say? Yes, absolutely right. I'm not good at communicating quickly. I get easily swept up in conversation. Sorry. Ever since you started doing the Trump impression, the viewer count has gone down. Weakness. <laughs> hey, if you can't handle me at my Eric Cartman SNL uh, Trump impression, then you do not deserve me at my Frog Detective. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? The shop has been in my family for generations. I thought in my hands, it would be the best it's ever been. But it's just kind of the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse than it was. I suppose you're right, Kyle. Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created of them, except for me. Big, beautiful portrait with a big, beautiful door. Big, beautiful door on it, you know. Believe me. Except for me. Mine's a silly photo. I don't like it. <laughs> suck my, suck my balls, Kyle. <laughs> Uh, can, can you let, let me know and let me tell me exactly I'm done. How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you if they can't see you? Hmm. Yeah, take this photo of me. Okay, <laughs> kind of weird. What's weird, Kyle? Just carrying around a photo of you on the off chance that I find a painter who can paint you a portrait. You have not absorbed any of this, have you? No, none. Literally, I don't even know what the conversation has been. I found a photograph for you to paint. Oh, can I see it? Here you go. Mm. Wow. This is beautiful. Is this Wendy from the store? It sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. I did it. What? I lifted the witch's curse. So you're not going to believe this. I believe it. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. Wait. Seriously? Yep. Pistol the painter saw your photo, and he thought you were the perfect muse. Get that? About me? He sure did. Can I? Oh, I'm sorry, Al. By the way, I'm, I'm moving my hands around. I'm doing the thing. I'm putting my palms up, putting my right hand forward, back. Putting both palms up. Putting right hand forward, right hand back, right hand forward, right hand back. I, I have to do that. I, I, my, 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 my mouth is going like this. And I'm putting my hands up, and right now, my right hand just went up, forward, and then back, and then forward again. Doing a Trump impression, if I sit here and just do it without the motions, I won't be able to do it. Wow. Wow. It's huge. This is huge. Pistol is so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge. He was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. Sorry, what? It's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. Since I'm... Ponder, detective, be swift, a bad thing, perhaps. Or who are we to determine such good and bad? A stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. Answers to what? Questions. What questions? Why is it so bright out here? How do I charge, charge this solar-powered bobblehead? And more, I'm certain of it. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats, and no time considering why we had them in the first place. No okay. clue. Protection from the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? The sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn to a crispy fried snack. Is being crispy wrong, detective? And I am just a lonely part, trying to make sense of the world. Nice to meet you. And, and you? <laughs> this is like if you put the heavy, his head underwater. You sure think a lot about things, huh? I try, but I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Who are we to determine wrong and right? 
I can do that better. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. If you don't mind me saying, you don't look too much like a cowboy. No, no. This, I am no cowboy. I am dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taking forever. I am no good at this. But you have so much to say. Yes. Nah. But when I write it down, it gets so muddled. Nothing comes out right. My, my I'm, I'm eating my own throat. <laughs> I just like, I just swallowed. And I swallowed the throat inside of my throat. A cowboy's life is so much fun. Sitting round on your bum. Ride a scooter. Sing a tune. Say a yeehaw in the afternoon. The sun is bright. The smile shine brighter when waving at this lonely writer. I give a nod and a smile back too. Yet, I wish, I wish I could be someone new. An outlaw's life is not for me. I want to ride and be carefree. <laughs> Instead, I still write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town, and I love cookies. Oh, nom, 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 nom. It's beautiful. I would say that's a perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I think I want to write a new one. Ooh, a chocolate chip cookie. I'll show you what I have so far. And maybe you can help me finish it. Sure. Ugh. I saw a cowboy eat a snake. <laughs> okay, I have to change this. I have to change this. I have to change. Before, like, I lose a hundred thousand followers. Uh -oh, I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal. I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal from his sack. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off. To get some more, towards the store, because he was bored. Towards the store, towards, towards the store. Towards the store. Wow, I'm getting better. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. But just ahead, to his shock, there stood a newly built office block. There was a Nessie from the lock. He saw a goblin on a rock. Okay, sure. But just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover... <laughs> yeah, I did the voice crack on purpose. I'm glad you picked it up. The cowboy smiled and shook his head. And off he went back to bed. Aha! It's perfect! A perfect poem! I can't wait to recite it in front of the crowd! Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective! It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. I'm, I'm becoming, like, German. I feel like I understand the, the cowboy life a bit a better now. I'm doing... I'm literally doing Arnold. You suck. Stop that! Don't stop saying that! Stop being that person! Time that person! I ban that person! Okay, so... Before I give you this, just know that it may, this makes me very uncomfortable. But I know how important it is for me to solve this case and impress Lobster Cop. So, here's your fake ID. It's me, Otto. Yes! This rules! It looks so realistic! I don't think it looks realistic at all. But it should be enough to get you in. It worked! Thanks, Detective! I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you helped me. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. Don't tell anybody. Hear ye, hear ye. The detective helped me break into a bank. No, 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 no. They should call you the burglar. I do not want to be called that. Fine, fine, fair here. I got the map out for you. Crime map. You're too kind to be streaming just for me on my birthday. <laughs> well, I didn't want to tell anybody because it was a surprise, but everybody... Happy birthday to you. There it is. Happy birthday. Just for you. I found a hatch. I'm sure everyone will be so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. 
Oh, why am I so gassy today? It's insane. It sure is nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. Hello. I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem, and I am nervous. Please do not laugh. <clears throat> I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal from his sack. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. But just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. The cowboy smiled and shook his head. And off he went, back to bed. Nah. Thank you for the poem. Next order of business. Crime solved. <gasps> I'm pleased to announce I have recovered. Ah, let me stop you right there, detective. <laughs> I'm pleased to announce I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. <laughs> I worked hard to cover this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole as the title of sheriff. Everybody likes this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after, the detective arrived. That's me. Quiet, please, detective. It is with great sadness that I have to tell you this. The culprit of this crime, hat-stealing monster of Cowboy County is none other than that second best investigator, Frog Detective. Wait, what? I've been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that ties the detective to the crime. What evidence? This. No, this is a mistake. I was digging up the hats because I found it. I found the hats. Then why do you look so mischievous? I don't. Someone draw eyebrows on me. I didn't have eyebrows, don't have them. You have to admit, detective, you have a big motive. A motive? What happened? You've come into a town that prides itself on hats. It's a well-known fact that you cannot wear hats. Weird head shape. Yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Moe. Because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. Seems to me that you do, detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them where nobody would ever find them? But I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. What judge? Mm hmm. Hmm. That's a good point. We haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bad room. What? That's less of an idea and more of an ominous concept. I will elaborate. We put Frog Detective in the bad room. The punishment of crime. An excellent, if shocking, idea, Sheriff Mason Moe. We will construct the bad room at once. I already made it. It's in my office. Oh, well, in that case. Detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life. No. Somebody help. Revenge. <laughs> oh, could they? How could they? What? Is that actually a bad end? Just wanna get home to sleep. <laughs> Wait, what? Where the air is that's such a that's so sad. That's that's a bad ending, right? That's the worst ending. To my loyal fly frog blog readers. It's hour number one of my time in the bad room. I know that I am innocent. 
Unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me in here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get being second best. I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes. But if you are reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me, but my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding, as is the case with most of the mysteries I am involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. What the fuck is with my gassy body? This is terrible. I can't believe this. <laughs> What's going on? I'm reading the latest frog vlog post. I was excited to see how the detective solved the mystery in Cowboy County, but I can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. Crime is real? Let's not jump to any conclusions here. I can't possibly concentrate on scientific discoveries in these conditions. Mo, I have to help the detective. How are you going to do that? I'll have to solve the mystery myself. So now it's not frog detective anymore, it's... <laughs> Can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course, but how could I forget it? It's good to see you. Likewise... I realize this is highly unusual. I'm here about Frog Detective. Well, the detective isn't around right now. I sent my two top investigators to help cover in Cowboy County. You haven't heard. Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. Terrible news. How can you be so sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up. And I know Frog Detective would never do something so horrible as steal the town's hats. I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back when we were there to investigate the ghost noise. It is mixing up a lot of different things at the same time. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around in Frog Detective's office to look for clues? Be my guest. <laughs> Somebody said, who said Kenneth Copeland? <laughs> Lobster cop, number one best detective. A fraud? I need to get the supervisor and head to Cowboy County. There's been a terrible misjustice. Okay. Where, where are you? <clears throat> I'm coming. Howdy, folks. What brings you to Cowboy County so late? This is our turf. You better have good reason. We don't want any trouble. We hear about our good friend, the frog detective. Ah, the duality of frog. How can one be so kind, poetic, and thoughtful? Also, be a stealer of our hats. I, I aren't you a bandit? An outlaw. So you live outside the law. Well, when there's no laws, it makes it pretty easy. It doesn't matter anyway. Frog Detective is innocent. Uh, sure. We all saw the photo. Those four old brows tell the whole story. Frog Detective doesn't even have eyebrows. Regardless, you say it was a mistake. Not so much a mistake. A setup. A set. A setup. A setup. A setup. A setup. A setup. Better. I have reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mole and Lobster Cop coordinated the takedown 
of our beloved frog detective. Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. How can we help? If you can point us in the direction of where Frog Detective is being held, that would help a lot. Easy. Sheriff Mason Moore has the detective locked up in bad room. <sighs> I just didn't want to... I burped off camera. Thanks for your help, bandits. I am now going to change the voice of this character because it's getting kind of hard to do after so long. They will now sound better and different than this. Okay, Arthur. Mystery monkey? Supervisor? What are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed visitors in bad room. But did anyone would want to visit me. We're here to. That's even worse. No. We're here. We're here to bust you out. Mystery Monkey has proof you were framed. I knew it. Chef Mason Moe was up to something. Not just him, Detective. I'm sorry to tell you, I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Moe planned this all along. It can't be. Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? Hard to know for sure until we ask. But it looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. Green with envy, one might say. You, detective! They're talking about you. It's not possible. It's time to shift your understanding of the world, detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply can't believe it. Well, let's. I, I keep hitting the microphone, and I'm sorry that I do that. But we let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mason Mole once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. <laughs> Jeremy, you're turning into voice soup. What is the meaning of this? Only I get to call town meetings. I have called this town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about the hat stealing case. But it's closed. I, I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, what are you doing here? Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, town, for meeting us on such short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. What? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? <gasps> huh? What? I... Uh, uh. This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. You can't just go through my office. That's a crime. Please stop trying to invent crimes. Crime is not real. As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found the letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. Sheriff Mason Mole has been telling the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island, Arthur. As the lead scientist on the island at the time, I can confirm I had several reports, sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. Wait, why didn't you tell me? There's like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos, who runs the shop over in Warlock Woods. He also confirmed a sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind his shop. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by a lobster cop to follow the detective. No, I... No, that's not... I... I... Uh, this is all a mistake. No, Mason Mole. Time for us to come clean. Frog Detective, ever since you moved in next door to my office, I felt threatened. You're so methodical in your case solving. I would read your blogs and go green with envy. 
I've been number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Every time the supervisor had a mystery to solve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it. I passed it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself and angry at you. Angry, but Lobster Cop, your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to, but I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Bowl was there for me. Having friends is so important, but we were a bad influence on each other. I needed work, and so I suggested to Lobster Cop that I help take you down, and I had the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. I'm ashamed that it got to that point. Instead of asking you for help or swallowing my pride, I let my jealousy get the best of me. How did you frame the detective? Here's a joint effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find the map. Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. Once you had the resources to dig up the hats, and Lobster Cop had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? He was eating a delicious meal. Of course. I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows on the photo of you. But what I don't understand is why you put me in the bad room. Framing me was bad, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped. That's so cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting somebody into a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around trapped? I really don't like that room. I hate that room. Bad room was my idea. I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realize this now. My bad. Lobster cop, Mason Mole, you've done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society doesn't have strategies in place to deal with things like this. Are you going to send us to the bad room? I absolutely not. It's messed up. No, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster Cop, you've abused your power in ways that I cannot begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you enabled and encouraged this behavior. I'm mad at you both. You deserve that. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. I think you should change career paths for your own good. Boil him. <laughs> detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy to being a postie, and please rest assured, you will never have a late parcel again. Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. Hey, now that's all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Oh. Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable detective work on this case, I'm really pleased to announce the new number one best detective is... Congratulations to... Mystery Monkey! Wow, congratulations, Mystery Monkey. What an achievement. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. I'll have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full-time. You can move into my old office. There's already a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. Great. What an honor to work next door to the number one best detective. Again. This calls for a celebration. Ronnie, can you prep the saloon for a dance party? Can do. Oh, and lobster posty, posty Mason Mo. Yeah? You're invited too. Yay. Yay. Oh, look. Yay. Holy shit, the lobster is going fucking hard. 